hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is okpa yemi goddess and today's video is all about me yes i said to all about me today um i'll be answering some questions about myself so just about fun facts about me and i've got like um 35 questions tag here on my phone which i'll be answering um so i just need you to stay tuned and um enjoy so first things first um these are just like random questions um just to create fun it's really not that deep so don't take it seriously <laughs> so question number one what is your middle name so my middle name is um ellen h-e-l-e-n which means brightness or the bright one yeah that's it um second question um what was your favorite subject at school so i want to assume this is referring to secondary school or high school so i remember my favorite um, subject in secondary school was um oh i had like two or three favorite subjects english was one of my favorite um subjects i really really loved english back in secondary school so it was english biology um and economics but it was it was more of it was more of english and biology and then economics too was was um well i liked e economics roughly but was really really more of um english and biology yes third question what's your favorite drink um so i think my favorite drink will probably be coke i'll have about a year ago yeah this is my oh, this is april so much last year i actually decided to cut off soda for my for my um, fluid intake, I needed to stop soda totally. I was very, very conscious of my health, and then I just made I made some decisions about my health. So cutting off soda was one of the decisions I made then. So I stopped taking coke because I was I was really really getting addicted to coke because you know that gush of um, glucose coke gives you actually when you're tired, when you're fucked out, when you're really hungry. You know how coke can really just give you that glucose you need and then over time you could actually become addictive so that was my own case it was like my go-to remedy for hypoglycemia and then i needed to cut that off and then much last i just stopped taking coke or all forms of soda generally and um i think but in december last year that's like four months ago i had to cheat yes i had to cheat so i took loads of course it was christmas new year and then all those festivities and then i had to, i had loads of um coke and all forms of soda to take but of course i stopped so that was just december was just for cheating i cheated i took loads of coke and then january i, I you know i came back to my old um diet stopped all soda and all that but really if um if i if i really want to be honest um with this question what is your favorite drink is it still would be coke it would be coke so but now i do now i just do basically um fruit juice i do smoothies and all that just to ensure i'm taking the right thing um i'm just kind of mindful of my health but i still take coke once in a while i'm not going to deny that yes um so that's that about my favorite drink question four what is your favorite song at the moment oh my goodness so um I know a lot of you must have seen the movie um, Money Heist. Um, so there's this song, Bella Show, Bella Show, Bella Show, 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 da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 um the f of course the first time i would hear the song was when i watched um the money heist see if you've not seen money heist go and see the movie so the season seasons one to four at the moment so i'm actually waiting for season five so i heard the song from money heist and then i had to search for it on spotify it's one it's one of the songs on my playlist on spotify at the moment it's oh no it's a very great song so that's that about my favorite song at the moment really i have several favorite songs but at the moment bella she if it's bella she or bella c or bella t i wouldn't know but i'm sure you know what i'm talking about it's a spanish um song question five what is your favorite food um so i'm not really like um a favorite 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 person when it comes to food but i think i take i have like a routine thing 
okay i don't want to call it a timetable i don't want to have a routine timetable but i sort of have like a fixed meal for breakfast it's usually bread and tea bread and um either bread and um butter and tea or bread and oh i love bread and avocado so i just put like i make avocado like my spread so i just spread some avocado over my bread and that's it so bread and avocado bread and butter um bread and um, what other thing oh hazelnut i love hazelnut hazelnut spread so the the hazelnut i take oh it's in the kitchen so it's um, made from cocoa cocoa and then um, hazelnut so i also spread that over my bread so basically for my breakfast i have like a standard routine it doesn't change bread and whatever i have available and then with tea so i want to believe that's my favorite food but of course for lunch i, I take a variety of meals my traditional meals I'm, I'm nigerian i'm yoruba so i have a lot of traditional meals amala semo so i take all that and then rice oh i love rice i think rice should be my favorite food yes yeah, so rice is my favorite food so um i try to kind of spice up my rice so it doesn't look so basic or, or usual it doesn't look like the traditional kind of rice so I, I just i make sure that i take variety of rice so I, sometimes i make fried rice sometimes i make jollof rice there are times i i just do stir fry rice i just try to like spice up my rice so i think my favorite food is actually rice with different versions of rice you get rice and beans fried rice jollof rice rice but in different versions you get so that's question number five question six what was the last thing you bought the last thing i bought i'm trying to remember the last thing i went for grocery shopping two weeks ago but i bought several things so oh the last thing i bought would probably be my skincare products so i've been battling with acne for a while now like and then um like three months ago or two months ago it became so worse so was that um, my regular routine wasn't really working so i had to get some i had to order for some skincare products on amazon so it was delivered some days ago okay so that should be the last thing i bought of course i bought um serum face moisturizer cleanser i bought quite a lot of um skincare products really question seven favorite book of all time um i love reading books like I, I love that's like my number one hobby I love reading books so I've actually read a lot of books but I would say out of all the books I have read I think two of those books have like stood out one is the lady I love and I love it yes the lady I love and I love by um, Bishop T.D. Jakes I read a book when I was a teenager I remember and then I read it again as an adult the book has been like uh, it's been like an outstanding book for me i still get to read it over and over again really so um my favorite book of all time would definitely be the lady i love and a lot by bishop td jakes and then a book my dad bought for me also when i was younger um, which is rich dad poor dad that would also be one of my favorite favorite book of all time also my dad bought a book for me too when i was in secondary school tough times never last but tough people do i can't remember the author of the book i still remember that and that book is actually a very great book and um yeah so i think these are just like my favorite books of all time i've read several books and i there are a lot of books that i really love but those are just like the greatest of all the books i've read question number eight my favorite color oh of course blue is my favorite color um blue but i think i like the lighter shade of blue. the darker shade of blue can actually be very boring so i think i like like turquoise blue yeah turquoise blue royal blue um maybe sky blue yeah but generally blue is my favorite color i think i i might want to kind of switch blue has been my favorite color all my life so now i'm thinking of probably switching to yellow I think i want something flashy blue is kind of like something for a man i don't know but that's how i feel these days i feel blue is like something a man would like so i think i should opt for a flashy color like yellow or purple i don't know but blue is still my favorite color anyways bright brighter shades of blue anyways 
question nine says do you have any pets no i don't have pets i actually don't like animals <sighs> no it can actually become so scary for me i don't I, I don't like animals i've never had a pet i do not intend to have a pet my husband likes dogs but really i'm not a fan of pets so i don't have any sadly i don't have any question 10 favorite perfume oh my goodness um ah this is a very tough question for me okay so um my husband buys my perfumes um cologne deodorant he buys all that and i know for perfumes he does more of smart collection because he also um uses um he wears um smart collection so he, he of course they would buy the masculine one for himself and then the feminine one for me however my best tea bought um actually sent um some perfumes to me in december shout out to adiola badmos so um what's what's the name of the perfume a thousand wishes yeah by bath and body works god she she sent it in december december probably 25 26 i can't remember during christmas anyways and the way i'm using the perfume way I, I I'm trying my best to ensure the perfume doesn't doesn't finish like I really I love the smell it makes me feel it makes me feel and smell like a baby yeah I just like the smell so um a thousand wishes by Bath and Body Works oh no the perfume is great very it smells really really good um question eleven my favorite holiday destination oh gosh. I can say this with my eyes closed, like I can say this in my dream because this is something I say every time. My husband is tired of wearing this. I say this virtually every time. And um, my favorite holiday spot or holiday destination would definitely be um, Maldives. I don't know if that's a correct pronunciation, but I say Maldives. I don't know if it's Maldives or Maldives, but that's my used to be like 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 my honeymoon destination. But of course, we couldn't do that for honeymoon, so this would just probably be my. Um, vacation destination in the nearest region probably when covid 19 is over when the pandemic is over this would definitely be um our holiday destination as a couple definitely um question 12 are you married of course i'm married <laughs> yes i am so i've been married this is my second year of marriage this is my second year of being married yeah um um have you ever been out of the country yes um because i grew up in nigeria but i don't live in nigeria anymore so yes um do you speak any other language uh, unfortunately i don't besides um english which is like the official language in nigeria and then my traditional dialect which is yoruba unfortunately i, I can't speak any other language presently i'm learning spanish uh, yeah, spanish what am i saying presently i'm learning how to speak um spanish of course because i watched money heist you guys just watched this movie so i watched uh, money heist and then i just fell in love with the whole movie and then gosh like when they say police yeah you know what those that words i just fell in love with all that and um so i downloaded an app on on google store and um i've been learning gradually anyways so i hope before the year runs out i should be able to speak fluently hopefully so that's that question 15 how many siblings do you have so i have two siblings i'm the first child and i have two younger brothers question 16 says what's your favorite shop my favorite shop is definitely asda because that's where i buy my groceries from um and then okay yeah um super drugstore to where i buy my cheap cosmetics i don't want to use the word cheap let me just say affordable cosmetics so i get my cosmetics from super drugstore because um, because of affordability anyways the stuff are actually quite affordable so i love asda because that's where i do my grocery shopping super drugstore because that's where i get, get my cosmetics from and um amazon i shop a lot on amazon <laughs> of course who has time to go into the shops to buy stuff i just really just, I, I usually do most of my shopping on, on amazon really um ah oh, my favorite shop i also like primark how did i forget primark gosh that's why i buy a lot of cheap things yeah primark is definitely one of my favorite shops question 17 favorite restaurant oh that used to be chinese restaurant before covid i'm not sure 
I'm not sure this will still be my favorite restaurant anymore. No. I think I'll just probably visit an Italian restaurant. I will probably try that out once um, the pandemic ends. Question 18, when was the last time you cried? Ah, uh, last night. <laughs> so, oh gosh, this is very funny. One of my hobbies, like one of the stuff I like doing is crying. Crying is like therapeutic for me. I don't know, I say this a lot and people just feel like, why would cry? Crying is just therapeutic for me. Like, whenever I'm overwhelmed, when I feel like the whole world is crashing, when I feel so tired, exhausted, I just like cry. So, crying for me is not a once in a while thing. It's something I do regularly. So, the last time I cried was last night. And then, it was just because I was just overwhelmed. So, um, I'm a registered nurse. Okay, so the reason why I actually cried last night, let me just put it out there. So, I'm a registered nurse and I work in the UK. And um, I'm an operating room nurse, actually. So, my specialty is a tether. But because of COVID-19, I've been redeployed to the intensive units. So, I practically nurse and take care of... Um, COVID-19 patients and um, it's been so overwhelming for me like really really overwhelming I come back home exhausted tired not knowing what tomorrow holds you know it's a bit of roller coaster for me um you know you just don't know you don't know if you'll be the next patient like you yourself you don't know if you as a carer will be the next patient you know and a lot of th there are times that I have imaginary symptoms like like oh god i think i have a sore throat and i'm like i think i have a sore throat but hey i really do have a sore throat it's just like psychological so it's been so traumatic for me and a lot of times i develop um psychosomatic symptoms you know symptoms are really not there but in my head i actually feel, feel like i have the symptoms so like last week i broke down last week really like emotionally i was i was an emotional wreck last week my husband was really there for me in fact he's been my rock he has keep encouraging me that oh gosh you have what it takes you have what it takes to be a great nurse you have what it takes to take care of covid patients you're a strong woman you know you kept saying all those things and then i felt better but of course last night one of my colleagues my very very close friend very close friend is a brit of course but he came down with covid it was admitted um during the weekend and then it just deteriorated gradually and then he had to be intubated yesterday um he's now on the ventilator and then he's now in the unit where i work now he's an intensive unit and then so last night i actually i practically just broke down broke down i got back home and i was just crying so i don't know it's just been a tough one for me oh gosh considering the type of work i do but the thing is, again, there are times my husband will be like, so, yeah, you're overwhelmed. But there must be something that makes you happy about all this whole COVID-19 thing. And then I get to my husband, oh, the particular patient was discharged today. And then I start laughing. So really, I miss all the hurt. I miss all the chaos. I, I become so happy when a patient gets discharged after I've given them my whole, you know, and sure that I've done the proper things I need to do. So really, that's it, Cha. So... The last time I cried was yesterday, and it was just because I was overwhelmed. And I'm just like that, really. Like, once I'm overwhelmed, I just kind of let it out. And the only way I can actually let it out is by crying, really. So crying for me is not really like a big deal. It's just the way I let out all the built up, all the emotions are built up. Is that right? We say yeah. All the emotions are built up. So that's like the way I kind of like vent, let it out. Yeah, let it out. So that's it um question 19 my favorite blog of course that's my blog i have a blog so guys if you've not visited my blog please help my business like help my business so the name of my blog is um cicinos.blogspot.com i'm going to put that out there um yeah cicinos s-i-s-i the nurse dot blogspot.com so I'm sure I've answered that question. My favorite blog is, of course, my own personal blog. But besides my personal blog, I have some blogs I actually visit and I really love. One is ccme.com. So I've been following ccme is a, is a lifestyle blogger in Nigeria. I've been following ccme since 2012. Yes, like following her back to back closely since 2012. So her blog is one of the blogs I visit every time. I just I love her. I love her brand. I love her blog. She she has a YouTube channel too. Please. Please subscribe to CME's channel. She's one of my role models. I really love her a lot. 
so that's that about my favorite blog um question 20 favorite movie guys i've mentioned this over and over again money heist is like my favorite movie now i don't have any other fave movie oh. um, money heist is just like my favorite movie now so guys just go and watch the movie I'm actually waiting for season five. I can't wait for season five to come out. I, I'm, I'm anticipating. Oh gosh, I'm really anticipating to see um, season five. So that's that. Question 21, favorite TV show. Oh my goodness, my favorite TV show is um, The Real Daytime Show. My goodness, so of course it's an American TV show, The Real Daytime. And of course I have my favorite people on that show. Um, Tamara Mori, who is like an icon for me. Um, Tamara Mori Housley. Um, um, Loni Love, my goodness. Adrian Bailon. Um, Atten, yeah, she's married now. And um, oh, Ginny Mai, Ginny Mai. And then Amanda is the new host now, the new co host. So, The Real Daytime is definitely, definitely my favorite TV show. Um, question 22 do you use a pc or a mac i use a pc i use an hp pc it's actually right behind me here um yeah of course a mac would be like my dream so probably that would be my dream one of my bucket list for next year would probably be buying a macbook yeah question 23 what phone do you have so i, I have two phones one is um a samsung Samsung A10. This is Samsung A10, if I'm right. Yeah, and then I also have um, an iPhone 7. Yeah, um, a pink, yeah, pink and white iPhone 7. That's actually what I'm using for this. I'm using it to film this video at the moment, so that's why I can't show you. But it's an iPhone 7, white and pink. The front is white, the back is pink, <laughs> and then this Samsung A10. Question 24, how tall are you? Um, my height is 1.64 meters. I don't know what that would be in, in feet, but it should be maybe 5 feet 7. I don't know. I really do not know. Okay, guys, so let me just quickly check. So 1.64 meters. 1.64 meters in feet. Let's see. Let's see oh five feet and four inches so that's my height that's my height five feet and four inches so um like i said i'm 1.64 meters tall so the next question is 20 um question 25 says can you cook of course i cook all my meals really i cook all my meals um do i i don't I don't eat out like since I came to the United Kingdom I've not had okay well maybe once when I had to buy um, oh I've been to McDonald's a couple of times but really besides that oh, oh now we're talking about real food not not junks and snacks I actually cook my meals yeah I have a lunch bag and I cook and then take my food to work as well so that's that Oh my goodness question 26 my occupation um so um i'm actually a registered nurse yes i'm a registered nurse um yeah that's my occupation <laughs> question 27 um my favorite quotes so my favorite quotes would definitely i have just one favorite quote and um it's um it says tough times never last but tough people do so like i i think i mentioned earlier in this video that my dad bought me a book titled tough times never last but tough people do i really i can't remember the author the author of the book but ever since i read that book that has been like my mantra like my like my word like my quotes like tough times never last but tough people do so that's um definitely my my favorite quote okay so question 28 says what's my favorite season my favorite season would definitely be um spring and um yeah it has to be spring and i think why 
it why it would be spring or why I would prefer to say spring is my favorite season is because spring is kind of in between winter and summer like it's not so cold and it's not so hot so it's just like the temperature is just like tepid like just in between like a perfect temperature you're not feeling so cold and you're not feeling so hot like you would feel in summer so definitely spring is my favorite season question 29 my allergies oh god i don't have any allergy oh no i'm allergic to poverty <laughs> that's the only allergy i have i'm allergic to poverty i can't afford to be poor so that's my allergy question 30 says um um do i play any instrument um funny how i it, it's just so funny oh gosh I'm, I'm so ashamed to even say this i used to play an instrument i used to play violin oh gosh I, oh gosh this is so painful because i don't play anymore and i not just that i don't play anymore i don't even know how to play the instrument anymore i used to love violin I, when i was in nursing school I used to play violin so i was in a, i belonged to a classical music band when i was in nursing school called symphonia it was strictly classical and so that was where i learned how to play violin and then i purchased my own violin seriously i think when i yeah i purchased my own violin and um but really i just because nothing 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 can actually be very overwhelming to the extent that you really might not have time to do other things you love to do so i had i was occupied with all other things i i was working i was schooling you know i school for my bachelor's degree i had a lot of things you know on my hands and i was just so busy that i had to abandon my violin so at some point i picked it up again i remember in 2012 or 2013 2013 so i picked it up again um i had an instructor in my church then fountain of life church um um so i had an, one of the violinists in church who is my like very good friend show so i remember telling him oh gosh like i abandoned violin i really love to pick it up again show arranged classes for me right he's one of the best violinists in, in nigeria he arranged classes for me i just didn't have time i was working weekends i remember then i was working where I was working was really very tedious and I, I really don't want to mention the name of the organization but it was really really busy I was working, working virtually every weekend and she only had time during weekend so in short I just had to let go and then pursue other things that was when I also had to pursue my bachelor's degree I was just so presently as I'm speaking I don't know how to play the violin again I do not know I can't even play a string of the violin again I don't know anything about the violin again my violin is in my parents house in Nigeria and i don't even it's i'm trying to be so dusty right now but really i'm so, i feel so pained but here i used to play the violin the violin that's the instrument that i used to play and i really love to play really question 31 says do you have um tattoos or piercings oh my goodness so good um i don't have tattoos but i love tattoos so my plan is actually to get one so here is my plan i would write the names of my kids i plan to have to well we we plan to have two kids so my plan is to write their names air can you say just air so i love tattoos but i don't like the big ones like i don't like having tattoos all over the body no i'm not a fan of that i just like something so tiny like air so my my kids i'm going to have their names air written here just the first names so that's my plan but i don't know when so until the kids come really i will actually have their names written here that's the only thing i want to have i really don't like big tattoos no just something very portable and then it should probably be in italics yeah that's a font i would like so very lovely just the names and then piercings ha huh? let's not go there i love piercings i love so presently i have um one two one two i have so four piercings but i had one air i don't know if you guys can see it if you guys can see this car so i had one hair and then i stopped i stopped putting hearings anyways because of the nature of my job and then because some people were just raising eyebrows whenever they 
you know then whenever they they saw me um putting hair in hair i don't know what this is called so i stopped it and then the old just got blocked so three months ago i had i had the same spot pierced again hair and guys it actually got infected it got infected pus was coming out it was swollen i was in so much pain it was just so bad pus was coming out was inflamed i couldn't sleep at night and then the hearing was stuck inside so the hearing actually went inside and then we couldn't make it out so eventually my husband had to use a plier yes he used the plier to bring out this end and then he used the um, used what was it a, um, a nail cutter to bring out the hook at the back it was a very nasty experience but uh, until he did that I wasn't able to sleep I could not I was in so much pains I was even I was even running fever I was that bad so eventually when my husband was able to remove it and then he has to be doing the dressing for me he was cleaning it dressing it and wiping it for me till and then I was on antibiotics till the wound actually eventually healed and then he actually he gave me a thin very thin warning he actually told me outrightly I should never get any piercing again and so really that is that is really how it is now I really love piercings and I would want to have more but now my husband has said no more piercings because of what I went through with you know the second person i had on the same spot here and even now this is actually because of fibrosis obviously this is like thicker than this and it's obvious because of scarring and fibrosis so this is actually thicker than this i've never pierced this before so i think this is called the tragos tragos piercing or something like that i'll check it out so that's it so now my husband has said that the only thing that he would allow me to do is probably since i really love hearings having earrings all around i could probably just get clips you know those kind of clips that you can actually remove them they're not traumatic really so i'm thinking of getting clips because i really want to have like earrings few earrings here so i actually thought about that recently I'll, when covid is over i'll get them clips maybe two or three and just have some here since they have placed an embargo on piercings for now but I will continue to appeal and hope that they would allow that. So that's question number 31, I believe. So, okay, next question says, my idea of heaven on earth. So my idea my idea of heaven on earth would probably be, would de not even probably, probably, would definitely be um, um, winning souls for Christ, living a godly life, and of course, having all the good things of life like being rich doing exploits driving your favorite car living in your dream house but of course bringing all the glory to god you know um being a kingdom influencer just having all the good things of life life i don't want to believe that christianity is all about suffering no it's never about suffering but the goal is just to ensure that you're bringing people to christ you're also living um, a godly life your life your life is like an example of what a kingdom life should be but of course you have all the good things of life so that is what i think should be an idea of heaven on heart next question says um how long have you known your spouse so like i said um we've been married for less than two years this is our second year of marriage but we've known each other for oh gosh it's been so long i think i met him well, if you met me since 2007, but I think I actually met him officially in 2010. But really, we've we've known each other for a very long time. He's been my long-term friend. We've been friends for several years, but of course, we've only been married for two years. Almost two years. Not a year and some months, really. Next question says, my celebrity crush. Oh, my celebrity crush would definitely I, I think i mentioned her name earlier that would be tamara mori Ausley. this woman is an all-round woman even when someone is all around like she's she's not lacking in anything like a proverb proverbs 31 woman she's she's married with kids she has a full-time job she has a business this woman is just an amazing woman 
So Tamara is definitely my crush. She's someone I look up to. She's like my high dog. I love you, Tamara Murray Housley. If you ever watch my video, just know that I love you. I follow you closely. You're like my shadow mentor. Yeah. Last question. That's question 35. The achievement I'm most proud of. Ah, oh, gosh. This would probably be having a bachelor's degree in nursing. And of course, I have, I have several achievements that I'm so proud of. But I think the reason why this is like, um, this is like so, so, um, so, so different than, you know, than other achievements I've got is probably because it took me sweat and blood. It took me sweat and blood in the sense that I was working and schooling. It was a very stressful, very, oh gosh, that was the longest six years of my life. Yeah, it took me six years to have a bachelor's degree in nursing in Laotech, that's Nigeria. Um, and it was the longest six years of my life. So, of course, before then, I already went to nursing school. I was already a registered nurse. I was already working, but I needed to move. I, it was, I was just passionate about having a bachelor's degree in nursing, and it was so stressful. I was working in Lagos, and I was I would run down. Oh, gosh. It, it, was, it, was so, it, was, it was so stressful for me, very overwhelming. I was working virtually all weekend so that I would be in school during the week. It was just a very crazy time of my life. but, And I think that's why it's like the greatest achievement for me. Because regardless of all the obstacles, all the odds, you know, I missed all the odds. I came out beautifully. Um, I, ca I really came out beautifully. I came out with it, um, a 2-1. And um, oh, it was just, um, it was an amazing journey for me really. And I learned a lot of lessons. It was actually a time of my life where I learned how to multitask and how to do several things all at the same time. It was just crazy, but yeah, air, 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 oh gosh, air, air, I am. Oh gosh, why was that so difficult to say? Air, I am now, and I'm just so grateful to God that I went through that process, and yeah, so that's it. So thank you so much, guys for watching oh this video is quite long but i'm just so happy that i eventually did the questions tag so i think we had about 35 questions and i'm so sure that we with all those questions you guys sh should by now know a lot of things about me really so thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to refer your friends and families to this channel. Let's grow this little community together. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.